Is it a normal reaction to cheating? Story 1. So D-Day in my life was about 3, 1, 2 weeks ago. I have been married to my husband for 24 years and lying in bed one night. I started receiving messages from a person I did not know. She told me that when I'm on business trips, she and my husband have been having an affair for about a year. It was obvious with the amount of detail she had that this was legitimate there was no denying it. Plus she was kind enough to include implicit pictures and videos. She went on to tell me that there had also been an online affair with his high school GF prior to her. A T recent with his best friend and his wife. And S time with a Ray Joker as well. I have also learned about an erotic massage. So he covered all his bases I guess and didn't bother sticking to one type of cheating. It appears at this point that all of these escapades have spanned about half of the length of our marriage. He went through incredible lengths to hide these escapades like effing Macjava. He had an app on his phone that would make the location appear to be at home, even if he was elsewhere. He had a secret bank account. He had scrubbed his phone of all evidence. If his app hadn't told me and sent me screenshots, I would have never been able to see any evidence of this affair. This means that, going forward, trying to track him using technology isn't even an option. I'm still just so confused and bewildered. I helped raise his two kids from a previous marriage. I held him when his dad died right in front of us. I took care of his mom in our home when she had Alzheimer's. We adopted a little girl that just turned 18. He doesn't have much family left and my family is flaky so we are all the other has. We have had a good marriage. We get along and have fun together. There have clearly been issues creeping but nothing we couldn't have talked about. I can't understand why he didn't just talk to me. I guess I'm just looking for feedback. I'm interested in hearing from others who experienced infidelity in long term marriages and those whose spouse cheated in so many different ways. Those are the things I'm trying to make sense out of right now. Story 2. Hello. My boyfriend, of almost 5 years and a super serious relationship, told me a month ago that he cheated on me twice with the same girl. The second time. She had come to my house where I cooked for her and her brother, and then my boyfriend slept with her. I would have never found out if he hadn't told me. He told me 6 months after having slept with her for the first time 3 months after the second. I was very confused and shocked and had no idea why. My reality was shattered and I didn't know what to believe anymore. I kept changing my mind if I want to stay and work on the relationship or even break up. So many times he says I probably changed my mind 8 times and that is hurting him. I understand why this behavior could be hurtful as he would be putting all his effort to work on things and I may just say fuck it I'm leaving. However, I was still processing everything and literally discovering new details along the way which made everything always a step harder. Him and his mom say that this way of behaving me changing my mind often is toxic and not healthy. We are not Tajeth anymore and most probably won't be however. I just want to know how do people usually react to such news. Are there others who can relate and understand what I was going through? Or was I really making this relationship toxic? Thank you all. Does it pay to forgive betraying? Life stories. Infidelity is a sign that things are going wrong in a relationship. The person who commits it is aware that one decision can change the lives of many people irreversibly. Can you forgive the betrayal of a loved one? Can a relationship after such a trauma still be durable and solid? The media was in an uproar when Maja Rutkowski, the wife of a well-known detective, confessed that she forgave her husband's weakness for other women. Outraged feminists criticized the woman's behavior. However, things change when it comes to us. Then the whole situation is perceived in a slightly different way. So what about the lives of ordinary people? Here are the stories of people who have forgiven infidelity. Would they do it again? A completely different relationship. Or the story of Marcel and May Siege, and I have been together for 30 years. Neither of us has ever had another partner. We've always been a compatible couple. We have three successful children. A good job. Money. A beautiful house and great friends. Just before my 50th birthday, my husband started to distance himself from me. I felt it. He would go away more often. Then come back from work. He would be thoughtful. Absent. He admitted to cheating himself. 
He was remorseful and aware of how much he had hurt me. Uh, he wanted to see how it was with another woman. I was firm. I asked him to move out. I kept him at a distance for 3 months. I finally realized that I was hurting myself. Matthew has changed. He realized I was the only woman he wanted to be with. Our relationship was cooling off. We enjoy each other every day. We work less. Travel more. Paradoxically. The husband's betrayal made us realize how much we can lose. It was a difficult but edifying experience. Who was this woman? I don't want to know. It's in the past. The future lies ahead for me and may seek. I believe only the good one. I forgave the betrayal. I believe it was the only right decision. Nothing by force. Or Hannah's story family has always been the most important thing to me. Husband. Four children. Quiet home. I decided that I would keep the relationship at all costs, so that the children would feel safe. I caught Andra's edge cheating twice. I forgave. I wanted it to be like always. I don't know if it was a good move though. A month ago, my 18 year old daughter came home crying. I saw my father with some punk. They kissed. How can you accept it? She shouted at me in anger. I do not know what's coming next. The husband must have really fallen in love. Because he does not even hide that he has a mistress. Some relationships cannot be maintained by force. Especially since only one person in our relationship is trying. Nothing is the same again. Jan's story at the beginning of our marriage. I had an affair with a co-worker. Mariah learned this from mutual friends. There was crying. Anger. An attempt to throw me out of the house. I set my own. Mariah gave me a second chance. I never betrayed her again. Recently, however, I have noticed that my wife has changed a lot. I'm starting to get suspicious. Perhaps someone else caught her eye. Infidelity causes partners to no longer trust each other. I think talking to my wife will clear things up for me. Lack of understanding and good intentions are the most common reasons for breakups. I believe our marriage can be saved. Every relationship is different. And betrayal is dictated by different situations. It all depends on the condition of the relationship and the feelings that connect a woman and a man. Marcelina feels happy that she has forgiven her husband for betrayal. Hannah realizes that her marriage can no longer be maintained. Too many things happened in it. Jan is suspicious of his wife because he once cheated on her. Now I don't feel very confident in the relationship. Infidelity can be forgiven. But can you live with the person who committed it? Everyone should answer this question for themselves. Redditor's reactions. Redditor 1. Have you confronted him? What was his reaction? Why did she finally tell you now? Redditor 2. Talk to a lawyer. If you have your evidence give it to the lawyer. The guy's a confirmed cheater. And even if he promises to work on himself. He will eventually revert back to what he was. Redditor 3. Someone who meticulously does what he has done for years is calculated, manipulative, probably narcissistic, likely a rest time addict from the sounds of it, and zebras don't often change their stripes. Having a private bank account, multiple partners, where is the concern for you and your family? No matter how much time has been invested into the relationship, really think about if you can have peace and joy living with someone like him for the rest of your life. Talk to a lawyer as soon as possible. Hell hath no fury like a woman scorned. This scorned app probably just saved you years of additional heartache. As terrible as her decision making moral stance may be. Now you know the truth. Get past this. Find your peace and joy again. And don't take this cheater back. You deserve loyalty. Best of luck op. Redditor 4. Are you divorcing him? Was he remorseful? What did he say about all the cheating? Have you scheduled an appointment? To get checked for STDs. Redditor 5. There are a lot of people in the world. You and him will find new friends and partners. You don't have to stay with him. Because of those reasons. Redditor 6. 25 years here. Found out about an affair. Apparently not the first. Mine had other issues. As well. This was the last straw for me. Life is too short to live with betrayal. Disrespect. And lies.